I'd like to introduce you to the great versatility of folder tracks and submixes in Traction Waveform. I've got this track at the moment that I'm working on. All of the volumes are just right. All of the balances between everything is just lovely, as is. And I don't want to change anything. But you can see here that I, I put a compressor there at the bottom because I was trying to get one one of the sounds to come up a bit in the mix. But I think what I'd really like is for the for that sound to be a little bit louder than everything else. And a compressor or a limiter isn't going to do that, unless I somehow compress everything else and leave this one thing out. Well, this one thing is actually two things. It's this ship and ship two. All the rest of it I want to bring down slightly. So I want this thing to really punch through. What I'll do is I'll move those two down to the bottom, out of the way, and reverb is down there already. So I don't need to really affect that one either, I don't think. So if I highlight, press shift and highlight them all like that, and then if I right click, pack selected tracks to a folder track, and then I can fold them all away, and you can see them all in there. They're still there. And then I've got a volume here that's separate to the rest. I fold those together. Come down a bit more here, I think. That's it, pretty much done. If we wanted to add something else into one of these folded tracks, this is what makes the difference with a submix. As soon as you add anything to any of these, if we add a compressor or something, then you see that's now called submix one. Because a folded track is just folded. It's just all of the tracks are just put in there out of the way into a little drawer. If I wanted to, I could put all of these into a new folded track as well. So you'd have folded tracks and a submix in a folded track or in a submix. Pack selected tracks to a folder track and then the whole lot is in one. So that can be useful for if you've got lots of vocals, backing vocals, you want to pack them all together and you want to put that along with, I don't know, with the vocalist or if you had all the guitar parts all together and you wanted to put them all with the bass parts just to get them out of the way or if you had all of the drum kit in a folded track and then that was further divided into cymbals, snares, kicks and each of those folded down into separate tracks and if any of them have any effects on them then they become submixes. So there you go. This thing saved me an awful lot of bother pulling down every little slider by a tiny bit at a time. I have a bit more to do here to get this track up to to finished. I've got to do these. I've got to add things onto the master track. But other than that, this track is pretty much done. So it's as simple as that. Fold tracks in, fold tracks together, or if you put effects on them, submixes. If you want more of this kind of video, subscribe, hit the like, do all of that sort of stuff. Let me know that you enjoy this kind of video. Leave comments below. If there's anything specific you'd like to know, let me know. And I'll see you soon. See you soon.